Matt had a skiing accident. Um, he was at Hidden Valley, and the conditions were not favorable for skiing, and I probably shouldn't have let him ski that day. He was wearing a helmet, came down the hill. He's a very accomplished skier. Came down the hill, took uh, an edge. He was trying to do a hockey stop on skis, caught an edge, and flipped himself right onto his head. Um, he was wearing his helmet, and, but the impact was so much that he um, got a concussion and he was left with nystagmus in his eyes, which you helped him with. Um, that day was really scary. Um, got a call from my daughter. Sorry. Knew something was wrong. Because when I called Matt, he didn't answer his phone. So he gave the phone to my daughter. So I walked in to the ski patrol and Matt was sitting there and he said, Mom, I'm sorry. But when he said, Mom, I'm sorry, he wasn't looking at me. He was looking around me. And I couldn't figure out why he was looking all around me. I thought maybe he was really embarrassed. His face was bleeding. Maybe he felt really bad and ashamed that he was hurt. And I didn't realize at the time that he couldn't focus on me. He couldn't see me. He was trying to find me or where he thought he was looking. I just wasn't there. His eyes were bouncing back and forth so quickly. Um, we got him to the hospital and they said, yeah, it's a concussion. But they really couldn't tell us about his eyes. Um, we knew we needed to see Dr. Collins with UPMC, which was great. And we saw Dr. Collins, and he referred us to vision therapy. And I was still really lost about the concussion and what was going to happen next. I knew I needed to give it time. I didn't realize how much time, and I didn't realize how much patience you need to have in this. You're really lost. It's not like there's an easy step process that you can go through. Every patient's different. Matt's was really different. I'd never had this experience with a child before, and I didn't know how to help him. So when Dr. Collins referred us to vision therapy, we went to another vision therapist first, and I really wasn't satisfied because he wasn't calling us back. I didn't have the appropriate attention that I thought I deserved and my child deserved, especially, because this was so new and different. Um, we really needed somebody different. So I called you, Dr. Falbo, found him on the internet, and I was shocked that within 10 minutes you called me back, which I had waited three weeks for the other place to call, and just never had that connection. Um, so we came, and Matt was so impressed um, when we came. You really sat us down, told us what was going to happen, what he had, which was nystagmus and reassured us that this could get better. And I remember leaving here knowing it could get better. Didn't really know the time frame, and it did take time. But it was such a reassuring step to have you on board as one of his doctors. And it really made it, it he really did get better. And the vision therapy was key, the twice a week, the homework, and then we worked down to once a week, and he really did his homework every night, and that is so important. As silly as you think it is, looking at a card and saying it, the, the letter seven, it really works. The, the rope with the, uh, with the beads, Matt would show his friends, and they're like, there's no way that that can do anything, and it really, really helped. And then his friends tried it, and it, the, they couldn't do it as fast as Matt could, so it, it really helped. And, for a while, you're in a black hole, but you eventually come out. Um, it was just a crazy experience, but it, it all ended up for the better. And I thank you for Red Apple Learning Center, because without you, we I don't know where we would have been. Thank you. Now, <clears throat> everything's awesome. Just take one minute now. Mm -hmm. And so what do you see now with the nystagmus and his fixation on you? So okay. if you just start... If you do just start out and say, after vision therapy, I noticed. Yeah. After vision therapy, I noticed. 
that Matt was looking at me. He wasn't looking around me. He wasn't looking at my ear or maybe my shoulder. He could look at me and focus in my eyes. Uh, I could tell we were having a conversation. He suddenly looked bright again. He looked right. He was acting right. Um, his recall of facts, that helped too. His short-term memory came back. You could just tell he was spot on and he was mad again. And I, I remember he woke up one morning and just came downstairs and said, I feel so much better. And he was right. He just looked better. And the communication was there, which it hadn't been. Yay. <laughs> I know. Awesome. That's awesome.